Hello friends, it's Sarah Baldwin. Welcome to another Sunday with Sarah and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to share with you how I would churn butter with children in my classroom when I was a kindergarten teacher and how you can do this activity at home with your own children. It's really easy and nothing tastes as good as freshly made butter on home baked bread. So in my class, uh, I, I used to use this big antique butter churn that I found on eBay. But since then, um, there's this smaller model that we now carry at Bella Luna Toys that's a uh, much better size for home use and a lot easier to clean with, with silicone paddles. So to begin with, you just uh, open the butter churn And you just need a pint of heavy cream and it's best to you want your your cream is going to churn more easily if it's at room temperature so I recommend leaving it out for uh, about two hours before you're ready to churn it and cream is the only ingredient Pour it into the churn, screw the lid tightly on, in this case I think it just presses on, and begin churning. And it's going to take a while, it's, it's going to take uh, maybe about 15 minutes altogether, but this is such a great activity for children, especially those who have extra energy to burn off. If I had restless kids who are bouncing off the wall in my classroom, I'd ask them to come and take a turn. Some of them boys will just see how fast they could go. And, uh, and then when they get tired, when their arms get tired, they can stop and uh, let someone else have a turn. So it's a great group activity. So for this first phase, I'm just gonna crank it for about five to six minutes. start to see it get foamy after a while and it will start to, to uh, thicken after about five to six minutes. So I'm going to keep churning away here and uh, I'll see you back when I get to that next phase. Okay so I've been churning this for about five or six minutes now. Now I can really feel it start to thicken and you will too but if I take the lid off I can show you how it's no longer liquid cream. It's getting thicker, but it's not done yet. So I'm gonna continue churning for another few minutes. That's like a total of eight to 10 minutes. It will become really thick. It'll reach the stage where it's getting really hard to turn. Then you really need those strong children to help you keep cranking. So I'm going to keep going for another couple minutes and I'll be back with you when I reach that stage. Okay, I'm back. This is the final stage where you're going to find it suddenly becomes very hard to crank. But you're going to just keep going and then you'll see it becomes loose and easy again. And then at that point, the cream, the butter will have separated from the buttermilk. So let's take a peek. Yep, there it is. I've got the liquid buttermilk in the bottom of my jar. And the butter has separated. So the next thing we're going to do is pour off our buttermilk into a large glass and fresh buttermilk if you've never tasted it it is nothing like the commercial buttermilk that you buy at the store commercial buttermilk has been cultured so it has a sour taste to it fresh buttermilk just tastes yummy and creamy and tastes more like cream If you have a little strainer, um, 
You might want to strain this. And also the buttermilk is wonderful for cooking, for baking, or to put in pancakes, so don't throw it away, whatever you do. Okay, now I'm going to um, put the remaining butter into a bowl. And we also uh, carry these wooden butter paddles at Bella Luna Toys, which um, makes it easier to separate. It allows the buttermilk to, to run off, and I'll show you how to use these more in a minute. It helps you separate the buttermilk and also helps you shape your butter. You'll find that um, depending on what kind of cream you use, um, will determine how yellow your butter is. If you're using cream from grass-fed cows who are grazing in the summer, you're gonna find a, a, a brighter yellow butter from cows that uh, eat grass as opposed to, to uh, cows that are fed green over the winter. So at this point, I'm using the butter paddles to squeeze out the remaining buttermilk. Now I have found if you leave too much buttermilk in the butter, the butter will actually get sour after a few days, like milk sours. But the more, um, the more you can separate the buttermilk from the butter, the, uh, the butter will not get sour. And then, Lastly, you can flavor your butter. If you watched my video on bread baking, I believe I promised I would show you how we made honey butter to have on bread day, which the children love. So when I'm done here, I'm going to put, a, put in a little salt. I've got a pinch of sea salt here. And you can use your paddles to mix in your salt. I'm still squeezing out a little bit of buttermilk. I'll just keep pouring that off. And we'll add some cinnamon. And finally, I'll add about a tablespoon of honey, or less. Just a little bit of buttermilk at the bottom, but that's okay. And then at this point, it might be easier to turn it out on a cutting board. So that remaining buttermilk is separate in the bowl. And you can shape it into a, a loaf. Now the butter's quite soft now because the because the uh, cream has been, was room temperature.
And then if you were going, you could just either serve this right away, if you're gonna serve it with bread, or you could wrap it up in wax paper, or I like to use these um, cloths that are coated with beeswax that are reusable and more eco-friendly. And you could wrap it up and just stick it in your fridge to use later. So that's how easy it is. Um, you don't even need a butter churn. It makes it really easy and I think the cranking uh, motion is really great for kids. Uh, you could also put your cream in a jar with a few marbles and shake and shake and shake it. It will work the same way or even use um, a mixer, an electric mixer. Um, but again, I just love the activity, the cranking activity for children building their, their um, motor skills. So there you have it. Uh, I hope you uh, are inspired to try making your own butter. If you do, let me know how it comes out by leaving a comment. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday with Sarah video channel on YouTube if you're enjoying these videos and, and give it a thumbs up. So thank you and see you again next time. Bye-bye.